Hello, it's Helder here, and today I want to share with you my top 10 must-have items that I keep in my airport go bag. Now, TSA, DHS, Customs, Airlines, their rules and regulations change almost daily. And the last thing that you want to do, or last thing that I want to do, is be pulled out of the line, asked to walk this way, we need to ask you some questions. Because now if you're traveling with your family, it's embarrassing. Uh, the strangers that are behind you wondering, you know, who's the shady character in front of us, it's embarrassing in front of them. And more importantly, if I have a contract overseas and I don't show up in time, <laughs> then there's going to be repercussions as far as me being a professional. So I don't want any of this stuff to happen, so I need to plan and plan accordingly and make sure that the things that I have on me not only prepare me once I reach the destination and the travel process itself, but I'm also good to go once I reach the destination. So I want to go ahead and share with you the top 10 items that I keep in my airport go bag. I have thoroughly reviewed uh, the items that I'm going to share with you. So if you're interested in getting more information on those specific items, head over to coachhelder.com. The blog posts are in there. But what I want you to take out of this is not so much the, the specific name brand of the item. Just worry so much more about the item. Don't worry about who makes it, so on and so forth. Just worry about what you can get and what, what's going to serve your purpose and your needs. Item number one is your carrying equipment, your pack, your ruck, things that I want you to keep in mind uh, when you are selecting your uh, carrying equipment. Basically, uh, make sure that it's streamlined, all right? This is something that I like to keep uh, on, in the seat in front of me when I'm on the plane, all right? So that's something to keep in mind. You want that thinner profile so that the uh, flight attendant doesn't come walking by and say, hey, sir, can I go ahead and take that and stow it away for you? And basically, when they say that, that means that you have to do that. So I try to, once again, fly underneath the radar, make sure that it's streamlined, fits directly in the seat underneath me. That way I constantly have access to it. I know where everything is. And even when I make a uh, head call on a plane, I take it with me. Now inside, I want you to keep in mind that you want all these various compartments and Molly gear, so on and so forth, so that you know where your gear is. I know where everything is in here, so it could be dark, it could be cold, whatever the case may be, stress levels, I'm gonna know that I can go in there, reach what I have to get, and uh, have access to it right away. Item number two, a water purifier. I currently choose to carry this one made by Water One Inc. It is a pure-to-go water purifier. Keep in mind that there is a big difference between a purifier and a filter. Uh, when we think about emergency preparedness, uh, drinking out of very suspect water sources, you definitely want a purifier and a very good purifier at that. As far as for traveling purposes, and I don't really use this too much uh, or at all, let's say at the airport, even though I don't want to spend six or seven dollars on a bottle of water, uh, I'd rather uh, devote that budget to beer. But when I am traveling, I'm fortunate that I usually get to stay in really nice hotels or nice apartments that are rented for me when I'm, when, uh, when I'm on a contract. But what works well for the locals as far as, let's say, the water system might wreak havoc on my own uh, digestive system. So I choose to use this pure-to-go filter even when I'm in a hotel, uh, when I'm in the nice apartment, just so that I could uh, enjoy if I'm on vacation. I want to be able to enjoy my vacation. And if I'm teaching a course, I want to be able to accomplish that mission. And uh, being able to have a clean water source definitely goes a long way in uh, accomplishing that goal. Item number three a tactical flashlight. Now I choose to carry this one made by Phoenix, had it for a while, a uh, pretty good flashlight uh, suits my needs. There are many, many great options out there, so find what works for you. The one thing that I want you to keep in mind is not only is it great for illumination and has uh, different features, but it's also a uh, very effective self-defense weapon if you are trained with it and train with it regularly. Now keep in mind that when I'm going overseas, I can't even have a folder on me as far as any kind of uh, everyday carry, but I'm able to carry a flashlight and uh, am, am uh, pretty well versed with it. So the fact that I could have something as opposed to nothing to be proactive, to uh, add a little bit more confidence when I'm walking around these strange lands. And at the same time, it's a flashlight that's uh, very practical. Item number four, body armor, and specifically backpack body armor. I choose to carry this one made by Defender Armor, Made in the USA, military spec, very good to go. The one story that I want to sh uh, share with you is that friends of mine that are also into preparedness, when I first chose to add body armor to my airport go bag, they kind of looked at me like, hey man, uh, isn't that a bit of overkill? And since then, over the 
past year with world events and things that they read about and hear about. And then, of course, the story that I brought up initially of uh, what happened last week at the Fort Lauderdale Airport with the active shooter situation, those same friends have now added the uh, body armor to their own kits and to family member kits. And the beauty about it is uh, this day and age, there's a couple good companies out there that are good to go, and they're building these super lightweight. So this one weighs in at just over a pound. Uh, it streamlines perfectly into my pack, and uh, it has become affordable. So it's no longer something that uh, only the select few can have. All right, people like us can go ahead and add this to our kit and aid in our preparedness. Item number five, a tactical pen. Now I have various uh, tactical pens, but the one that I choose to add to my uh, airport go bag is this Schrade. And the main reason is because it looks like a pen, right? So it's not something that looks all uh, robotic and is gonna have set off some kind of flag that I'm gonna end up getting questioned and so on and so forth. So what I do like to do is actually when I'm traveling with it, I keep it open so that when it does go through security, it's a pen. So nobody questions it. So keep that in mind. And also keeping with the uh, same mentality that I shared with you with the tactical flashlight, I'm disarmed in these other countries. And I want to make sure that I have something, something that's viable, something that I train with, something to add to my confidence, and something to give me a chance if some kind of a self-defense situation were to arise. Keep in mind that I do train with these pens often, and I suggest that you do the same. Item number six, paracord. Now, there's so many cho uh, choices out there for paracord these days and so much knockoff stuff out there that you want to be careful. Make sure that you're getting something that's military spec, U.S. military spec, and good to go. And there definitely are countless options for that also. Now, uh, I don't have to explain much about the uses of paracord, but especially when I am traveling, uh, my gear, if it does become unserviceable, not only could it help me with that, it could help me with uh, restraining uh, an unruly uh, passenger that's alongside with me that has been happening more and more lately. It just happened recently on Korean Airlines. And uh, more so just to have uh, options. I mean, it's just countless the options that we have with uh, paracord and the more skills that you have, the more uh, options that you have. And that goes for every piece of uh, gear that you choose to add. Now, we usually have extra paracord on me. You could tell I have some bracelets hanging on the side. I usually have a bracelet on my purse and so on and so forth. But it's also good something that I could easily pull apart, get to the cordage that I need, and be able to utilize it rather than fiddling with my uh, jewelry, so to speak. Item number seven, a small dry bag. I currently have uh, carry this one here by the camping trail. Small, but good to go. And uh, the beauty about these is that they're waterproof. So you can go ahead and anything that you don't want getting wet in your uh, travel bag, you can go ahead and put into here. You can tell it is a pretty uh, small form factor and any electronics. I also usually keep a uh, change of undergarments in here. Uh, sometimes when I'm traveling, it's a 24, 26 hour process. So if I do get to uh, certain airports, I can take a shower at, so on and so forth. So I could not only grab my uh, clean gear that I have in here, but I could also put the uh, dirty gear in here and it's excellent at trapping smells so whether it's food whether it's uh your clothes it's not a bad option either to keep it separated from the rest of your gear and at the same time keep you from uh stinking up the flight and having the person next to you uh pretty much hate you the whole way item number eight a spork i have a few different sporks and uh, this one is made by a company called light my fire and it's titanium hypoallergenic all the good stuff. Now, I'm not a germaphobe or anything like that, but if you witnessed half of the things that I've seen occur in an airport, remember I spent just countless hours on layovers and so on and so forth, and if you see just people with their filthy hands reaching in that plastic silverware to get what they need, and that's just the people, let alone the employees, you know, things that I've seen them do. So, uh, you know, just think about it, stresses of traveling, so on and so forth, our immune system's already taxed, so we don't need any extra germs adding to that. And now if you couple in the airport and airplanes, which are one of the most germ-infested areas uh, around, you can see why I chose to carry my own titanium spork and be able to wipe it down when I need to wipe it down. And uh, more importantly, sometimes with our gear, it gives me peace of mind. Item number nine, electrical tape. Uh, a lot of good manufacturers out there, you know, the usuals, 3M, Scotch, so on and so forth. Now I used to carry duct tape, which was always our above all fix all in the Marine Corps. 
But I had to switch, and one main reason, out of all the things that you've seen me show you here, what have I gotten detained and confiscated uh, through TSA? Duct tape, right? So no, I never got an explanation, got questioned, got detained about duct tape of all things. Uh, but uh, luckily that worked out pretty well and I didn't miss my flight. But ever since then I was a bit jaded and decided to switch to electrical tape. And since then I've gotten uh, no questions and have not been detained. Uh, so it could have just been a one-time thing or whatever, but I'm staying away from duct tape and I'm sure you understand why. Now, as far as our application, very similar to what, with what we can do with duct tape, which is repairing and constraints and a million other things that we can't even think about. Item number 10 a ferro rod. I like these necklace types. I have a couple different manufacturers. This one's made by Uber Lieben. Very good to go. Works well. Does what it's supposed to do. Gives you that spark so that you could go ahead and uh, get your tinder going and able to start a fire. Now while we're traveling, we're not allowed to have matches or lighters on us, uh, but a ferro rod just seems to go right through. You notice I keep it and let it look like it's a necklace and just have it strapped here to my molly gear so I know exactly where it is. Never have gotten questioned about it, uh, and at the same time, I've actually never had to use it uh, while traveling. Uh, will that make me take this out of there and make this item any less important to me? Absolutely not. So those are my 10 items. Uh, keep in mind that regulations are constantly changing, so make sure that you're not just going to take my word for it. Go ahead and check the, the uh, stipulations of where you're traveling from, where you're traveling to, and make sure that your gear is good to go so you don't get detained or get any kind of trouble. Uh, and just be smart. And the way that you carry yourself has a lot to do with if you are going to get pulled aside and questioned, or if you're gonna get scrutinized even a little bit more. In other times, it's just the luck of the drawer. So make sure that your stuff is all good to go because uh, you know if you're gonna win something, make sure it's the lottery, all right? Not the uh, chance of uh, getting detained by security personnel. All right, once again, this is Helder. I hope this uh, helped you out and you uh, found this helpful.